You drive a beautiful F-250, you put gas in the big old throat of that diesel fuel filler neck, that's a problem. Can we get away with just flushing and changing out our filters? We find out on this edition of Inside the Garage. All right, probably one of the worst things for a beautiful diesel truck is when you put gas in the big old throat of the diesel fuel neck. That's a problem, it can happen. Maybe you're not paying attention, but we're gonna try to revive this truck without replacing expensive, and I mean expensive parts people, between injection pumps and injectors. The problem is that gas is very abrasive to the whole fuel system. Obviously, diesel oil has more oiling substance to it, so it's lubricating as well. All right, you're gonna need an eight millimeter socket that's gonna take care of your fuel filler neck, get those disconnected. You're also gonna need a 13 millimeter socket to get your tank straps and all of your shielding drop. The last thing is your screwdriver. A flathead screwdriver is gonna be able to disconnect those connectors, very important, and also carefully disconnect the fuel lines off the fuel pump. If you don't do this step, you're gonna end up in a place where you're definitely gonna need a tow truck, and this whole process is gonna be a waste of time. All right, in the garage, we got it pretty simple. I mean, we use an air nozzle here, shoot some air into the hose, then go start that siphoning process, get that fuel drained. You may not have the same type of luxury if you're on the side of the road. What you can do is use your floor mat and form shape that in the shape of a funnel and get that onto the containers that you're gonna be using to store this gas. <laughs> Getting all that gas out, get it nice and dry, BG makes a wonderful product for this very problem. We've used this in the past. We're hoping that we can repeat the success. BG DFC Lubricity, it actually is gonna add that conditioning, that oily substance that right now is not in the lines, it's not in the pump. We technically have not gotten that out of the vehicle, and more than likely, you're not going to. It's still gonna start up with a bit of that fuel still in the lines and in that injection pump. So this conditioner actually will get that replacement of that abrasive gas and get that oily substance, which is really important. That's what diesel fuel is. Diesel fuel has that oil. So this conditioner is really awesome. The other product that we've got is the 245 diesel fuel system cleaner. This is a great product just on its own. You can use this once a year or twice a year during your fill-ups and this will maintain the conditioning and the cleaning of your diesel fuel system. We're gonna use it, pour this in the tank so that we can get another shot at getting all that gas out of the lines so that we can have a nice fire up. So let's get to the next step. We gotta go after those filters. Uh, those are gonna be contaminated with gas. So that topside filter in the engine bay, you wanna be really careful with the plastic tanks, those plastic retainers that actually snap those lines in place. So you're going to pull that one tang up and then compress the push tab and those should release the inlet and outlet lines. Once you've got that done, then you wanna sort of go counterclockwise about 10 degrees and then lift that up gently. Now, if you're servicing your diesel, it's best to replace that housing every time you replace the filter. All right, so undercarriage right by the driver's side cab door, right underneath that is that water separator. That filter needs to be replaced. You wanna be careful here when you're disconnecting that electrical connector. Now here's a tip. I forgot to mention, you probably need a 32 millimeter socket to get that off, that lower filter. But what you can do is take an old belt, wrap it around your hand like this, and then actually attach that belt to the housing and try to crack that open. So you gotta be resourceful if you're broken down on the side of the road. So once you get that filter off, you're gonna drain out all that fuel. You wanna make sure to, to replace the O-ring and get that reinstalled. Now, if you don't have the luxury of going to a parts house to get both of these filters, what you can do is just make sure that those filters are air dried and cleaned out the best you can of all that fuel. Can we save the injection pump and the injectors on this diesel? All right, we got that diesel started up. It is a big happy day here in the garage because this individual had a huge estimate from elsewhere to replace every fuel component in the system. Hey, I appreciate you guys hanging out. If you liked the video, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. It's all good too. And I want to thank our recent subscribers. You guys rock. We're going to continue bringing you weekly episodes from Inside the Garage.